Hello everyone and welcome to the Nom Nom Bros. Once again, I am Zach, and this is Spore. Alright, uh, after some brief confusion with the first video I posted of Spore, which I proceeded to fix, this is the real first episode, in which we start... Shell stage. <laughs> and you can read that if you want. These are the five stages, blah blah blah, this is the first one. Herbivore, omnivore. Herbivore, omnivore, herbivore. Um, little way of cheating the system I have here, which up oh, there we go. Now you may be wondering why I waited for that guy. That's an extra eye, which is extra money. That's cheating. Let's play on normal. No reason to play on hard, really. All right. Um, planet name. Poflin. And that's Boflin, but Poflin is how it's pronounced, because there's a silent P that's invisible, and is actually not silent at all. Moving on, basic idea of Spore. Creationism, in which you play God, evolving something up through the different levels. I'm sure that will spark many an evolution debate in the comments. Woo! Shut up. This is the asteroid of doom. Doom, 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 doom. Hopefully the quality is better in this video. I tweaked it so that it, it was less of a tweak and more of a giant sledgehammer to the face of low quality. But we'll see. I'm actually going to check that here in a minute. And so in keeping with the opening sequence of the land before time, all life started in a pebble. Behold my sexiness. And he's just telling me what to do, which I'm going to tell you momentarily. Option settings. Graphic settings. Audio settings. Game and capture settings. Control settings. I'm like, oh, look at that! <laughs> Wait. Yeah, no big deal. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, cell stage. In cell stage, just like in creature stage, you are carnivore, herbivore, or omnivore. Although you can only start off as herbivore or carnivore. And as you can see here, you mostly just wiggle around like a demented little sperm, eating chunks of food. Yep, that's pretty much it. So herbivores can feast upon these little green things, which those little buggers are eating before I can. And carnivores eat those floating meat chunks. Omnivores can eat the green things, but they can't actually eat the meat chunks. They they suck the life out of things. It's very, very brutal in the spore world. There's a fly on my screen. I just somehow swam past it without eating it. Fantastic. Okay, so now we're getting up a little bit higher. You'll notice there are bubbles in these weird pumply things that you can't do anything with. Those are just debris. They don't actually do anything. You'll see up there is a carnivore chowing down on some crap. And that right there, that is... Oh, I think he technically stabbed me. This right here is an herbivore with spikes, which are a defense, which didn't help him against that, and I'll get into that in a second. And the spike shield, which you see right there, is what gives you an upgrade. Oh, the irony! The cruel irony! Don't stab me! Oh, my butt! Okay, well... Let's get out of his way. That's an epic. They are huge, and they are huge, and they'll just kind of one-shot you, which is terrible. Oh, no, don't eat my mate. Yay! The power of love conquers all. So now we kind of wiggle suggestively, mash our faces at, et at each other, and then plot twist, you're a mother. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I get it. Sus. Now here's why you want to get this guy five extra dollars. That doesn't seem big, but, you know, that's a pretty nice little boost at the beginning. It lets you buy another mouth if you want. Another little tip, separate your mouths and enlarge them. They have more radius with which to grab food then. Now I have to finish this stage as an herbivore in order to get the uh, type that I want. So... I will be an herbivore only. 
you can't hit tab or anything in this mode just because the cells are so incredibly simplistic. You can still choose color and all that. I'm a big fan of blue. But not of that color scheme. I have no idea what I'm going to call these things yet, by the way. For now, focusing on this and how about you? I do eh, no, they look sickly or dead. How about this one? I did kinda eh, maybe this one. That one? That one eh. I'm very picky. I want it to look cool. I am focusing on it looking cool. I'm not necessarily f well to me anyway. I'm not really focusing on making like the best stats or anything like that. And I'm going to name it the Bluffinian. Yeah, we'll go with that. And away we go. Woo. So then you hatch and voila. Here we go again. Because of the wider area, I can grab food more easily now. Obviously, I'm a little bit bigger. My spikes offer some defense against enemies. Now, at this stage, you don't have money. You have DNA points, essentially, which you get from eating, as well as a few other ways. But this is pretty much it, really, <laughs> depending on what you eat. And there's an enemy. You can still kill things as an herbivore, you just can't do damage with your mouth. Now you'll notice, first off, in the background you can see some big bruisers floating along. It's kind of terrifying. No, my food. For another thing, you'll notice a lot of these guys are getting more complicated. Like, that guy has so many stinking flagella. It's not even funny. But I have a spike. Two spikes, to be precise. So they can suck it. Ma! Nom, 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 nom. Alright. I'm going to breed again. I'm actually breeding a lot more than normal here just because I want to. Now there is an achievement, I'll skip that, that you get for finishing... This is what I wanted. For finishing the um, cell stage in like 8 minutes or so. But I'm not going to be going for that right now. I'm playing this game at my own pace, not at any specific pace. Like I said in the other video, if you want to see me do something specific, uh, you can give you can add to the challenge by telling me, oh well, find some of the achievements, like finish it as fast as possible and whatever. So if you want me to be, for instance, aggressive in space stage and be like a warrior or a knight, you can say, okay, be a warrior and go through as fast as possible. So, I'm only playing each archetype at most one time, though, so, yeah, make sure that you remember that. Oh, that's poison, ah, oh, that's poison, that's the big squid demon of doom and pain. So that guy's a jet. The jet is the best speed, but it's also my least favorite because it's so difficult to maneuver. The poison you just saw spews poison behind you, which, and I'm fighting the current here, is very useful to prevent carnivores from raping your butt. Which is very nice. I mean, the spikes are a good deterrent, but... Oh, now I'm bigger than you. Suck it. You can't hurt me now. So, yeah. Uh, down at the bottom, you'll notice the progression bar, which... the It demonstrates how far you've gotten in the evolutionary line. You can also... Ow, get bitten in the butt. Shucky! You can also hit T which brings up this more complicated way and shows the different stages. I'm clearly an herbivore at this point. And it also shows you the different abilities you'll get in the different stages. For herbivore, you get Siren Song, which as you can see, temporarily makes everyone around you happy. That's for creature stage. For tribal, you get Refreshing Storm, which replenishes fruit trees. Healing Aura for the civilization stage, which repairs buildings and vehicles. And then a Social Suave, which gives you a discount on social s tools. That one I won't be using so much, but it's still nice to have. This one, they give pretty good ones. You can summon a small army, uh, get a bunch of fish, immobilized turrets and whatnot. Standard equipment you get a discount on. This one is honestly the best for cell stage because you get the evil roar. You get traps, which are nice. You get invulnerability, which is nice. And obviously you get the 
uh, increases the effectiveness of your weapons boost, which is very nice to have. But getting back to it, the miniature progression bar you see there at the bottom, oh, he's dead, that's good. Oh, that's an epic. Oh, that's poison. Oh, it's so, it's hell. Uh, the miniature progression bar demonstrates how big your brain is, which is what indicates whether or not you're, you'll evolve. Ah, oh, I died. Okay, that's what it looks like when you die. In cell stage, there's really no negative effects to dying. But when your brain gets to a certain size, you evolve, because that's science, obviously. And, ah! No! No! Oh, and there's another one of my species, which is always cool to see. I always like that, how you can see your own species around. You can't kill them or anything, but you can still see them. Skipping that again. Just pretty nice, in my opinion. Obviously, I'm also not really going for all the parts. So this is a pretty standard cell shape, really. This is what most of my cells look like. And now he's starting to get a bit more advanced, so his eyes are smaller, and he's got two of them. And because I have a creepy eye fetish. Eyes. Gah. Lore. Does that look cool? Not really. It will someday. Ugh. <sighs> I'm pretty sure that all of Cell Stage is going to be one episode, because I'm almost done. It's only been a little over ten minutes. So, oh, that's a rock. That's important. The rocks, the shiny ones, that bugger off. The shiny ones contain new parts. Normally, how you would get the new parts is by killing enemies. However, oh, 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 suck my spikes. Yeah. However, you can also get the parts from shiny rocks. Also making sense, because science... Ah, suck it! Spiked you in the throat. I'm going to... Ah, oh, for the love of cheese. Woman! I'm go Actually, I'm the woman. Man, I'm going to poke you in the buttocks. So we'll remove this. Ah, crap. It's too expensive. So we'll remove these. Our original eyes. And he's back to one giant eye. Actually, you can play any of these stages without eyes. Uh, you have a very limited range of vision, and it's very difficult. I actually played through all of Creature Stage once with no legs, well, no limbs at all, and no eyes. The only object you need is a mouth. That's, they won't let you go into the world without a mouth, so no photosynthesizing creatures for you. I'm almost out of cell stage, so I think this will be one video. We just gotta kinda hurry here. It's very difficult to play as an herbivore in most stages, which kind of makes me sad, but oh well. As I said before, I'm going to be a zealot in this state, well, in this uh, playthrough. At least in space is the goal. Everything kinda just leads up to that space stage, and there was a piece back here. I should probably go back for it. Eh, that's the Celia or whatever. Yeah. Celia is nice. It really, it's not a huge improvement in any way, necessarily. It's got the same speed as a flagella, but the cool effect it gives is that you can turn really fast. Oh, and that, the glowy guys, they have electricity power, which briefly stuns anything that comes near, basically, unless you have that power. Poison, having the poison ability also makes you immune to poison, which is another reason to get it. There's really no reason to not get it. It's a great defense and offense if you use it right. So, yeah. I might demonstrate the electricity ability, but probably not. It has a recharge time, so you gotta watch that. But other than that, eh... Oh, there's a dead body. Hello, dead body. Other than that, electricity's okay. The problem is you need two or three for it to really be effective as a defense or offense, so I never really bother with it. I don't think I've ever used it in cell stage, even. Yes, I get it. I know how to, I know how to make slow, sweet love. Not really. Anyway. Eating, eating, eating. Ah, uh, here's some eggs. Ah! The eggs hatch and turn into those demented little pricks hate them so much. And there's one of my arch nemeses. You can eat the eggs once you get a bit bigger. Which is pretty cool. 
You can eat eggs in most stages. It usually doesn't have really any effect. Eggs, eggs can kind of be eaten by everyone. No matter what mouth or whatever that you use. Give me that. Yeah. There's the current. There's a puffer fish of evil. And now I can eat eggs. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. That guy's chasing me. I'm totally ignoring him. Fantastic. So much glowing going on, which is indicative, of course, of abilities popping up, but I don't care about them. Yeah. All I want to do is finish cell stage quickly. Must eat eggs. No, no. No. One more. No. There we go. So now I have a brain. At last. And I'm on the path to sentience. Ignore that. And next time, we will evolve onto land. This has been the Nom Nom Bros, signing off.